Heath Consultants is pleased to announce our new and improved Remote Methane Leak Detector, CS. From first responders to investigators to leakage surveyors, it really is the complete solution. This compact state-of-the-art instrument eliminates the separate receiver and transceiver of the earlier RMLD system and combines them into one lightweight handheld instrument that can detect natural gas leaks safely and efficiently without having to travel the entire length of a pipeline. The RMLDCS allows utility service employees and first responders to quickly and safely scan a location for suspected leaks in areas that may be hard to reach, such as busy roadways, yards with dogs, fenced off areas, and other places that are difficult to access. In addition, the RMLDCS can be aimed through a window to potentially verify the presence of gas, helping ensure the user's safety. Unlike other gas detectors that must be positioned within the leak plume to detect the presence of methane, the RMLDCS uses sophisticated laser technology to detect a methane leak along the line of sight up to 100 feet away. The RMLDCS has proven to be a highly effective leak survey instrument in a variety of utility field studies with the added advantage of remote detection, something flame ionization and similar equipment cannot claim. As a result, the RMLDCS significantly improves productivity, drastically reduces operations and maintenance costs, and virtually eliminates safety concerns. The RMLDCS is designed to operate under a variety of field conditions, including a wide range of temperatures, light rain, and fog. And its rugged design will stand up to normal field use and operating conditions. In fact, this intrinsically safe instrument has earned the CE certification mark, ensuring that it meets all health, safety, and environmental protection standards by the European Economic Area. And the RMLDCS has received the international protection marking that certifies its mechanical casings and electrical enclosures are safeguarded against intrusion from dust and water. Best of all, the RMLDCS includes many exciting new features designed to reduce costs and improve performance. For example, the instrument includes a rechargeable lithium-ion battery that provides up to eight hours of operating time when fully charged. The battery charger is included and has two slots for dual battery charging. The instrument also includes Bluetooth and is secure Wi-Fi capable. Our companion mobile app can capture survey data using either iOS or Android phones. As a result, operators can connect to their electronic devices through specific applications and download information stored on their devices. Users will appreciate the new data logging function that allows the instrument to store complete telemetry records on an internal SD memory card. Accessing recorded or captured data can also be done by simply plugging in the USB cord included with the instrument and connecting to the operator's PC. Two of the most popular new features are the color display and the color camera that will capture an image snapshot along with the current instrument readings, timestamp, and GPS location, all with the push of a button. Altogether, these new features make the RMLDCS the most advanced leak detector on the market. To turn the instrument on, press and hold the middle button. The instrument will go through a warm-up process, which takes approximately 20 seconds. Once the mode screen is visible, it is ready to operate and will begin in one of the three operating modes, image, survey, or graph. To cycle through the modes, press the right mode button. Whichever mode the instrument was in when it was turned off is the mode that the instrument starts in. Heath recommends that a self-test be performed once a day before the instrument is used. To perform the self-test, the instrument must be in either survey or graph mode. To change modes, press the right button to cycle. To begin the self-test process, press the Center Menu button. Then press the Center Select button. Press the Center Start button to start the self-test. You will have 10 seconds to lay the instrument flat in its case. The self-test takes approximately 1 to 2 minutes to complete. Once the test is complete, the instrument will beep once every second. If the test is failed, it will beep twice every second. Remove the instrument from its case and acknowledge the completed test. If the instrument fails the self-test, start the procedure again and make sure the instrument is flat in the case with no obstruction between the instrument and the test cell. The status of the test will be visible on the display and by audible tones. 
After the self-test is complete, the instrument is ready for use. The RMLDCS has alarm detection threshold setting. To change the alarm detection threshold, press the menu button. Scroll down and select alarm levels. Pressing the down button allows you to increase or decrease the threshold. Press select to move the placeholder. The higher the alarm level setting is, the higher the methane concentration needs to be for the RMLDCS to detect it. Press the back arrow button to return to the menu. The alarm level setting is shown on the display within a rectangle, AL20. While in use, the operator has the option of using image mode. This allows you to have the additional benefit of using the video screen to aim via the targeting icon in the center of the screen. You also have the ability to capture the current image by pressing the center camera button. This image can then be downloaded via either Wi-Fi or USB. While using the Digital Methane Detector, or DMD, no sound will be heard until a detection of methane occurs, ensuring that the RMLDCS will not alarm due to background methane. Once methane is detected, the DMD mode indicates that gas is present above the alarm level. The alarm will sound, but does not vary with the concentration reading above the alarm level. The user will also see a visual indication of the DMD detection on screen in the form of the readings, bar graphs, and image reticule turning red. In order to enter the DMD mode, press the menu button, select audio mode, then select DMD. Our companion mobile app provides an easy way for users to connect with the RMLDCS using Bluetooth and view the breadcrumb trail on the map. All users will be able to view the methane values on the screen. Alarm sounds will also be played based on the settings. There is also a low mobile device battery level sound indication. Users can view the trail on the map and have the ability to download the breadcrumb and data files via CSV, KML, or a zipped file. The Remote Methane Leak Detector CS consists of two lasers. The infrared laser is non-visible, eye-safe, and is continuously on while the instrument is turned on. The infrared laser is conical, allowing you to detect methane across a larger surface area. The green spotter laser is similar to a presentation pointer laser, helping pinpoint your target area. This laser is under the operator's control and can be turned on and off by pressing the left button. The spotter stays visible for 60 seconds and will then turn itself off. It can be turned back on by depressing the left button again. The user can also aim the detection laser via crosshairs on the color display. Avoid staring directly into the beam and don't shine it into the eyes of others. Also be careful not to distract car drivers. To detect leaks, some of the laser light is reflected by the background surface back to the detector. This reflected light is collected and converted to an electrical signal that carries the information needed to deduce the methane concentration. With a normal background such as brick, concrete or grass, the laser has a maximum distance of up to 100 feet away and the laser light beam width is about 22 inches at 100 feet. It is important to note the laser light is selective to methane only. Consequently, it won't register a false alarm on other hydrocarbons or water. This signal is processed so that methane concentrations can be reported in parts per million meter, or PPM-M. PPM-M is the methane concentration times the width of the plume, while PPM measures absolute concentration. For example, if the leak is creating a gas cloud of 1,000 PPM and is about one half meter in width, the RMLDCS will read 500 PPM-M while conventional methods would read 1,000 ppm. In order for the RMLDCS to detect gas, three conditions must be present. A gas plume of sufficient size and concentration, a sufficient reflective background, and the laser must pass through the gas plume. It is imperative to know whether the RMLDCS is receiving a return signal. To assure this, our unique low light level warning will provide you with an audible tone if there is no reflective background. A proper survey technique is essential to ensure accurate readings. When surveying, users should aim the laser carefully and use a smooth sweeping motion and a steady rate of distance change. The laser works best when scanning at a distance of 15 to 20 feet. 
The green spotter laser can be used to identify the scanning location. Scanning should focus on areas where leaks will vent, such as cracks, edges, repair patches, and meters. In the event a leak is detected, the technician should then verify it. Larger leaks are easily verified by sweeping the laser in and out of the plume. However, in the event of a very low flowing or venting leak, verification takes a bit more investigation. To verify these types of leaks, it is helpful to use the real-time Geiger mode. The RMLDCS can easily be used to determine if the leak is located on the meter or underground. Furthermore, real-time mode is very useful for determining underground leak spread and leak centering on the surface. The Remote Methane Leak Detector CS uses the most advanced methane leak detection technology available. And its new lightweight design and exciting new features make it an easy choice for utility employees and first responders. Easier, faster, and safer than anything else on the market. That's why the RMLD CS truly is the complete solution for methane leak detection.